Schuppel is the beloved elder brother of every pianist in the world. He gave us the piano. He knew what the piano could do. No other composer did. But Chopin dreamt, felt, lived music on the piano. And that becomes magic. I played very often the most divine sonata of Beethoven with all my heart. I had a great success with it. I played then something grandiose of Schumann, whom I do adore, you know. It all sounded very well, the public was very satisfied. But then suddenly one piece of Chopin, and the perfume <laughs> comes out of the piano, you know. You are suddenly in a magic garden. Something happens to it. I don't know what it is. On the worst piano, it does sound always. He saves even bad pianos. my tremendous concert schedule. It is not often that I have a chance to spend time with music students, as here in Tel Aviv. Now I will play you the great Polonaise of Chopin, you know, the A plot, which is very popular, very well known, and a great show piece, if you want, Chopin showed up in exile, far away from Poland, you know, and he said, Russia, nobody, nobody will kill me. I, in one Polonaise, I will kill them, you see. That's it. The feeling of pride and of fight in it. So I always love to play that. I love.
Schumann's Night of the Fantasistica.
asking some questions. I will be very curious to hear what you have to say, and I will try to answer it. Does anybody have a question? What is your attitude to modern music? Because, uh, as well as I know, your programs don't include uh, a lot of modern music. Uh, this is a good question. You see, I must confess something very sad. At my age, and I think many, many of my colleagues of my age feel the same thing, we are not able to assimilate, you know, the modern sonority of the modern music. We are really incapable of that. You see, you young people are, in a way, born to it. I'm not born to that music, you see. It's so new that I'm astonished when I hear it. But as I do not understand it, I do not understand that kind of music, I don't think I have the right to judge it. I think one can only judge something which one understands very well, and one finds and can explain why one feels that it's bad or good. You see, I can speak very easily about composers like Tchaikovsky, like Wagner, like Chopin, Brahms, like Moshkovsky, like, like, uh, I mean, I mean, Lesser composers, you know, I can criticize them because I know exactly what they want and what they are doing. But what can I do about the composition which, which hurts my ears, which bores me? So please, leave me out of it. I'm not at all a judge for that sort of thing and I withdraw. <laughs>